What, if anything, would you do to promote wraparound and community services in schools? Which of those services in general should be the highest priority? With our current enrollment plan that we passed in November, we are reopening five schools, uh, adding on to some schools, and uh, the space issue was yes for growth, but it was also to create space in schools. And uh, one of the things that we have been adding to schools the last few years are things like dental clinics and mental health supports and so forth, but we need to be a lot more intentional. We recently passed a behavior standards policy and the wraparound supports I would push first uh, would be things to support behavior and social emotional curriculum or social emotional support of our students uh, to reduce behavior. And a lot of times uh, teachers have very few tools when, it, when something is going on in their class and so they refer the kid out of the class. So uh, we need a lot more supports in the schools to help intervene and help support students and understand the underlying causes. I, I think when we come to community uh, wraparound schools uh, coming in from the human services field and as a parent working with, with families also in the school system um, I know a lot of challenges we face as, as with our students is the mental and behavioral health of our students. I, I think that's, that should be one of the top priorities, if not the top priority, and that is um, that we need our kids to be emotionally well, uh, socially and mentally, and if there's other problems out inside the home that affect their direct schooling, we need to confront those issues because those issues uh, in turn uh, have a ripple effect. They affect our children's attendance. They affect our children's ability to comprehend math and English and science. Uh, it also affects their test scores that, that people uh, really rely on uh, for information as to, as to the overall health of our district. I think it would be good to, in, in schools uh, to have access to medical services. I think Green Central has had a community clinic there that would be av available to community members also and there would be separate sources of funding. But having, having that accessible on site um, and um, would, you know, would be beneficial. Um, uh, counseling services that could be done on an um, uh, individual basis or on a confidential basis would uh, be helpful for, you know, many of our students. Um, and, you know, those should also be located in the schools. Um, and uh, I'm trying to think. Um, the issue of wraparound services is usually brought up in the context of discussing the effects of poverty on, on, on students. And one way that I would like to deal with the effects of poverty is to try to eliminate poverty itself. Um, for instance, I've been supporting the uh, $15 an hour minimum wage and uh, I had uh, I'd spoke out for raising the minimum wage in Minneapolis specifically um, in order, you know, because Minneapolis, Minneapolis a large section of the Minneapolis population <clears throat> is locked into um, kind of low wage uh, jobs and, um, you know, this would be an equitable measure if we did a local minimum wage that's higher than the state minimum wage. We need to ensure that community schools aren't just schools for the day, but a center for the community and organizations throughout the evenings and weekends. Our schools are constant touch points for students and families, and therefore the best public resource we have for identifying families and students who need additional support. However, every time the district duplicates a service offered at the city, county, state, federal, or nonprofit level, we're taking resources away from the core mission of the district, providing educational opportunities for students. My vision for wraparound services is to more efficiently work with the agencies outside the district that are focused on providing the additional support our schools and families need outside the school. In this way, we can ensure that we as a district are focused on our core mission of providing education while also ensuring students and families receive the support they need to be successful. Well, I absolutely want to take a communal approach to educating our children and I want to promote full service community model models by 
emphasizing that our schools are our public institutions and they should be treated as centers of the community. Services should not only be effective and meet the needs of specific communities, but and they need to be available, but more so they need to be accessible. And by that I mean having materials and services be available in multiple languages. Uh, but helping families meet basic physical and, uh, and economic needs, um, it's absolutely a great start, but it can't end there. Um, our families, I'm gonna go to a union saying, they need not only bread, but they need roses too. And for me, the highest priority absolutely has to be educational and social support, followed by enrichment programs, mentorship and apprenticeship programs, um, as well as opportunities to maybe track some of our children into vocational or technical type jobs because not all of our children are gonna go to college.